Hi guys, this is an unbagging of the Series 12 Lego minifigures, which is from the Lego the Movie. And I have most of the set here that I was able to find um, by feeling for the key pieces in the bag. I'm also labeling each bag when I open it, and I'm going to do a video on the bump codes. So check out my video if you're interested in that. I explain what bump codes are, and I'll show you the codes for the characters I have. So the first one that I found is a Scribble Face Cop. I'm going to put together the many figures in the background and then show them to you as I'm opening them. That way I could speed up the video. This other one here, the little grandma, her name is Miss Scratch and Post. So here is a scribble face cop. He does have two faces. There's a face on the back and I'll show that towards the end of the video because I got a duplicate of him. So I'll show you the other face. But he's pretty easy to feel for because you could feel his handcuffs and the little piece of paper that he's holding, the little brick. And this is Miss Scratch and Post. She's also pretty easy to feel for because she's got the hair piece and the cat. She has a cat on her t-shirt. She's really cute. We were able to find these at um, Toys R Us. They always seem to be the quickest place to um, release them. And this one is Marsha, Queen of the Mermaids. He's going to put her together real quick. She's one of my favorites for the girls. And as most of the girl Legos are normally really easy to figure out because of the bases, they're, they don't have feet. And that one has a fin so that, and little accessories, so that's definitely easy to find. And that one was pretty easy to feel for too, because you could feel his dynamite. That one was Wiley Fusebot. So here's the mermaid. She has a little jewel and then a little clamshell. And as you can see, her base is the only one that has a tail, so she's easy to spot. So there is Wiley Fusebot. You can feel his dynamite and the little gun. He's the only one that has a small gun like that. Um, and plus he's got this little pony tail raccoon thing that you could feel. So he was pretty easy to spot too. Most of them for the series was um, easier than I found in the past. And she has the fan that is very easily recognizable. And let's see. That one is Wild West Wild Style. And the panda guy. And that one you could feel for the panda and the headpiece is easy to spot. And that's how we um, 
I have a lot of other Lego videos with tips and tricks and things like that, and we probably only spend like 20 minutes in a store just feeling for key pieces in the bag, and that's how we know what we're getting. There's the Taco Tuesday. And we did pretty good. We thought we had 15 out of 16, and I think we ended up having 13 out of 16. But that was only because we couldn't find Abe Lincoln. There wasn't one in the set, because I think he's going to be really easy to spot with this hat. So there's the panda. Super cute. Gail the construction worker. As you can see, I had the labels pre-made so that this would be an easier process, and that way I could do the bump codes really easily. So there's a Taco Tuesday guy. He's probably one of my favorites from the series, his little nacho chips and his bowl, and of course his hat. So he's really easy as well to identify. I would say the only ones that were like a little tricky was um, the cop the scribble face cop and what other guy was it was it Larry no hard hat Emmett they were a little bit um, difficult to to distinguish because they both have like a small little piece of paper thing so unless you feel the handcuffs um, you think you have the hard hat guy but sometimes you can't feel the handcuffs so we ended up getting two of them So there is Gail, the construction worker. She has a little ponytail as well, hard hat piece, and of course the drill. I think that one is Velma. I think that's when we finally got the doubles. President Business. He's one of them that has the two faces. So I'll show that here at the end. There's the cop again. This one is President Business. He does have two faces. You can't see it because the headpiece. And he's the only one that has a coffee cup that has a little holder on it. So that was how I found him the easiest. That's the president business guy again. That one's pretty funny. That's the where are my pants guy. He has two sets of legs, so that's something you could look for when you're feeling the bag. Shakespeare. Key pieces to look for is that little white thing, his little ruffle, and he has a square piece that's like a little piece of paper that he's holding and also like a little feather pin looking like thing. So there's a no pants guy. 
<laughs> I love those little hair. And my camera died, so there's a different angle of him. And there's only one other one to open. We already know it's her because she has a long musket. And that's really easy to identify when you're feeling the bag. Plus it's a girl, so she has that big square base. And I think I put her... <laughs> this is why I don't get to put together the Legos. And I put her on backwards. But that musket is the same that they've used in other series, so... I knew what it was the second I felt the bag. And plus she's got the long hair piece, so... She's very easy to identify. And she's got a little hat that snaps into the top of her hair piece. So there's lots of different things to look for, but the guns always, pretty much always stick out. <laughs> uh, should have edited <laughs> this part out. She has detailing on the top, the front and back of her top. And she's got a crazy face. And then these are the two different faces for the scribble face cop. One is a little drawn on face and one is the regular cop face. And then the two different faces for president business. They're both kind of angry looking, <laughs> but one's more so than the other. And this is the insert that it came with. The only one that I need is Abe. Then I also need Hard Hat Emmett, which I could have sworn I had him. And then Larry the Barista, which we felt, felt a million of him. Because his cup is different than the President Business Cup. It doesn't have a handle on the back. But we, for some reason, thought we had him and we didn't. So, Alright, well I will post a new video whenever I find the last three. And I'm going to put one up right now with the bump codes and explaining... Um, what that is so go check that out if you're interested and actually there's one more that I didn't film because my camera died here is Shakespeare as you can see has a little feather he has a little ruffle thing to feel for and he also has that little square brick so if you're interested in him that's what you look for thanks guys leave me any questions uh, hence I know a lot about Lego things so just let me know thanks